Anytime Nintendo Switch gets a multi-platform release, you often wonder if it's worth getting on the Switch. I mean, the Switch is weaker, so the game's gonna run the worst on it, but it's also small, light, portable, gives you the option to play both on your TV and dock mode and on the go portably. The Switch is still the best console when it comes to portability and battery life. Gaming PC handhelds like Steam Deck and Rogue Ally are just too big and bulky with bad battery life. The latest cross-platform game to hit Nintendo Switch is Juju Kaisen Crush Clash. This is a fighting game, kinda like Dragon Ball Z. It's a different experience than the usual Tekken or Street Fighters of the world. I do like the 3D free movement aspect of it and the destructive environments. The game though is mediocre at best. It's like a 6.5 out of 10. The control scheme is confusing and odd. The game gets really repetitive really quickly. I wouldn't recommend you get this game, but if you're gonna get it anyways and consider getting it on the Nintendo Switch, well, you need to know that it's 30 FPS. 30 frames per second in both docked and portable mode. There's no significant drops or performance issues though, so if you're okay with 30 FPS for a high action game like this, then it looks fine. The art style and graphics aren't too demanding, so it runs fine on the Switch. For the rest of the video, check out some more gameplay of Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash on Nintendo Switch with that FPS counter shown. <laughs> Keep the brush. I'm a bit busy, right? <laughs> For sure. You brought Fuji girl. You're such a pro. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Keep up. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. 